This is how we like it. Bright sunshine, it's warm outside and playoff places on the line. The Quetta Gladiators who've been in ripping form, led by Riley Russo against Shan Masood's Karachi Kings. Match 22 of uh, the HBL Pakistan Super League Season 9 from Raul Pindi. But we will confirm why the points are important today. Quetta, if they can get two points, will qualify for the playoffs for the first time since they won the title back in 2019. And Karachi Kings, they need to keep in touch. They need to stay in touch with Islamabad United and to a lesser extent, Peshawar Zalmi. Top four qualify for the playoffs. To find out whether Quetta can qualify or whether Shan Masood who won the toss a little while ago and chose to bowl first. They've got a good batting lineup. They have got Mohammad Amir and Hasnain back in place of Suhail Khan and Wasim Jr. But what would be really interesting for me is the spin trio. Hussein, Abrar and Usman Tarek. And with the shorter boundaries, it will be interesting how the captain is going to use them. Ian, you mentioned they need pick me up, and they got the man to do that. Karen Pollard, he lends that balance to the side. He can ball, he can bat, and he's a brilliant fielder. And still searching for that momentum, Karachi Kings. They have able players in their lineup, and they should be able to do well here. As the battle for playoff push continues. Big side hey. of the ground will be to Jason Roy's leg side with a deep mid wicket and long on. Past of two short fielders behind point. First ball boundary to Roy airily. Uh, that was the point you were alluding to. As a bowler, you have to commit yourself with every delivery, especially with the first ball of the innings. You have to be on the money. That was too short. And that is innovative. That was a much straighter line. But Roy brave to play that shot so early and full result. Very well controlled by Saud Shaquille, even with a slip in there. To the right of the sweeper and four. So this is, is a, a decent start to the innings by Quetta. Blessing Muzarabani. Chance, chance. Deep backward point settles underneath it and taken first ball from the giant of a man, the Zimbabwean international. Blessing Muzarabani gets rid of the dangerous Jason Roy. Slightly careful here because Mazarbani is quite tall and he was going to extract a lot of bounds. He was not in this in the control with that stroke and had to pay the price. Well judge catch. Mazarbani removed the danger man. We scored 15. It's 20 for one. That's a terrific shot. It's brave, it's skillful, and very effective first six oh that was a terrific hit yes the ball jacking back really helped he is such an audacious stroke player 37 for one Musa Rabani that pickup shot again onto the short side it's a second one he's played off Musa Rabani. You can't bowl there to Saud Shaquille. Very good. Got slightly more width outside the off dump this time and not afraid to go over the top as the two deep fielders are leg side. That's gone and yes, six from Nafi. It's a huge hit, well connected in the end. Player with a lot of attitude and promise. Give himself a bit of room, held back, just delayed the downswing a little bit and nailed it. 
length deliveries as much as possible. But if you go full, you'll take that wicket. Lucky because it was going to that shorter boundary. It's a big wicket. So Shaquille is uh, despondent. And albeit that it's to the shorter boundary. Lovely little slower ball, split-fingered slower ball. He thinks he's got it here, but he's hitting it directly into the wind and it just held up and plopped straight into the hands of Shahid Malik. Perfect timing for a second wicket. 67 for two. Saw Shaquille goes for 33. There's the pull shot and there's the catch. It's gone down his throat. Hassan Ali picks up second in the over. Again, bowling to that plan. To the, if you're going to get hit or you're going to take that gamble, the shorter ball is to be hit to the bigger side. Yes, it's a bit good catch in the end. Nafe has gone for 17 now. Gladiators 68 for three. It's good against Spin Safras. That's going to be a boundary. I think it is. Yes, it is now, definitely. Mir Hamza, the fielder, finds the gap. Talk about bowling in certain times. Direct hit. Will be a run out. Has to be a run out. Gone. Confusion. Safras will have to leave. Important wicket for Karachi. They needed this wicket. Sarfaraz, ball watching there, ready to show. Just one call, he went straight away. Big mix up, big mix up here. He's in for Hassan Ali, getting his former captain out. Sarfaraz has to walk back for seven. Koita, 81 for four. Zahid Mahmood, again with spin. I don't think he gets all of this. It's sliced out to long off, simple catch. Spin has done it again. Gladiators, they're in trouble. First delivery of a new spell. And he's not been having a great season in terms of tempo, Riley Russo. And I think that's going under the radar just a little bit. Hard to tell from that angle whether it was the leg spinner or a googly. But very important breakthrough. 10 to Riley Russo, 89 for 5. Cut away, poor delivery. Beats the man, Mazarabani has his first boundary. Always a risk if you're going to give Kyron Pollard a chance. Length delivery. Happy bowling coach and a happy team, Rutherford gone. And that brings out a false shot from Shafin Rutherford. Good length delivery from Blessing Mazarabani. And this man. He hardly makes a mistake. The running catch from Kyron Pollard. We see the back of Sherfin Rutherford for nine. Koita, 97 for six. Mohamed Amir goes up in the air. It's Pollard after it. He's put it down. 100 comes up for the Gladiators, and it has been a real struggle. Got him. Knocked him over. Brilliant from Zahid. And that procession continues. This time it's Amir. A batsman trying to hit the ball hard out of the ground and missing a straight delivery, in fact. Yeah, I couldn't read the conditions well, Koira Gladiators. And didn't play well. Mohamed Amir walks back. It's 100 for seven. Oh, that sounded good. It looks good too, soaring out of the ground from Akil Hussain. What a strike. Yeah, earlier we saw some great shots from South Shaquille and this here exemplifies the fact that this is a good battable pitch. And that was perfect length for him to hit over mid-wicket. He's dug that out and it's over the head of Pollard who will not track it down. Extraordinary stroke. Hassan Ali's last over, and he's going to pick up another wicket. Nothing surer than the fact that Karen Pollard was going to pouch that. Not quite pulling the weight back, Hussein, on that occasion to be able to clear that fielder and long off. 
Manisha hit the ball straight to Karen Pollard, who doesn't make many mistakes. Good contribution of 14. It's 116 for eight. Ball in. Wet number four for Hassan Ali. Yeah, and you cannot say that he hasn't deserved it. Superb performance against the top order. And he comes back at the end and he's cleaning up the tail. Lovely little off cutter. Hasnain is through. Hasnain goes for five from nine. Coeta won one seven for nine. Knocked him over. Superb from Hamza. And a fitting end to what has been a quite superb performance from Karachi Kings in the field. Bowlers have done exactly as bowling coach Steve Kirby would have wished. And they've now knocked Coeta over for their lowest total against Karachi. It was a tall ass for uh, Taylander to find boundaries. Ball straight, ball fuller. Uh, he was rewarded, me for that. Here's the uh, card then for Coeta Gladiators. It started off pretty well. One for 20, one for 67 before the collapse began. Shikeo looked in uh, pretty good nick, as did uh, Nefei, but uh, once they were knocked over, nobody else managing to get themselves in. And it was uh, a steady procession of batters coming out to the middle and returning to the dugout. The bowling figures are all going to look pretty good. Uh, Shoaib Malik got some turn with his off breaks. Hamza with one for 25, finished things off. Musa Rabani was excellent through the middle stage with two for 27. Zahid with two for 25 with his leggies was also very difficult to get away. But the star of the show, Hassan Ali, four overs, 14 dot balls, four wickets for just 15 runs. So Karachi Kings will need 119 runs from 120 deliveries. It should be a cakewalk. Stick around to find out if it is. Right, Karachi Kings chasing down the lowest tar target this season. Here we go then. Bowling to that shorter boundary to the left-handed Sean Masood. He's off and running. And a good batting surface. Eh? Diabolical batting returns. We expect a bit of fight from Quetta Gladiators, not to be, it's the boundary, ciphered off the mark, stylishly in fact, first boundary is already off the mark, nine without a wicket. Slip in place then, seen enough movement, what a shot, let it come on, lovely timing, another boundary. And he has been welcomed with a glorious drive from Sean Masood, it was outside off, Neither full, neither pretty back of the length. Just about the right length for Sean Masood to execute that shot. And it's a wicket, it's a beautiful delivery. Simple decision for Richard Illingworth. And the captain's woes continue, Masood is gone. Needlessly aggressive at that line and what a cock. It really was a top quality delivery, shaped it away. And Shan Masood on the walk will get a good score under his belt, not to be gone after scoring 7 13 for one. He gets a hand on this. Raja Nafe gets a left hand on this. It's powerfully struck by Tim Seifert. Small, stocky player, loves to cut and pull. Mohammad Amir going short, only three fielders on the leg side. Khwaja Nafe with a brilliant effort there. Went full stretch. Excellent effort. Yep, you can sense that Vince has come out with a plan to just try and hit himself into a bit of form. Gets rid of that left leg and smashes it through mid wicket, vacant mid wicket for a boundary. And there are huge gaps on the leg side. Mohamed Amir is bowling with the 6-3 field. There you see another big shot over mid-off. That should run away to the fence in no time. This is good batting. Counter punch from Vincent Cole. Go, 
Magic. But Vincent has talked about batters carrying on after they get starts and he's held himself up to be accountable. Yeah, he's, he's freewheeling a little bit, you feel, James Vince. It's latched on to that, Tim Seifert. He's got very quick hands, almost reminiscent of uh, former New Zealand captain Brendan McCollum. Yeah, lashed away through the offside. Can't afford a loose nut when you're only defending 119. Short and wide, crunched. Oh no, oh Shafin. You get a few lobs before the game starts in catching practice, just like that. Quick hands again and quick feet from Tim Seifert, 60 for one. Well, they had their chance. Is that the only one they're going to get? Easily done. Easily done for Akil Hussain on return to the ball increase. Yeah, is it too late? The full Vince experience, silky strokes, just really trying to put back to ball in any way that he could, and in the end he gets undone by the excellent Akil Hussain. He still believes, he's trying to get them fired up. Vince gone for 27, 63 for two. Pulled away, there is a, a man at deep mid-wicket and he gets it straight enough. Mohammad Hasnain has been expensive in the first spell, comes back and still the length is not there. He has struggled with injuries and whenever you are struggling with injuries, coming back, playing in every 11. Edge towards third and misfield. Mohamed Amir just has a brain fade down at third. He did lose it initially. He struggled initially to pick up the line and the flight, the trajectory of the ball. But once he saw that, he should have done better here. Again, pulled aggressively. Second boundary in the over. Third boundary in the over. Remember that misfield, 14 from it, 82 for two. Top edge, could be a wicket, no, gone all the way, good catch. Nine from the over, 12 gone, 91 for two. They're under the spotlight now, the ball boys, because Colin Munro gave his coaching a couple of nights ago and it paid great dividends. It was trending on social media, so I think they've all been out practicing now and they're not willing to be shamed on live television now. That's a good technique. Smashed, another scholarship. Joy Malik, he's definitely in a hurry. Walking down the pitch, use of the feet is brilliant with Joy Malik. Whether he wants to go down the ground or use the depth of the crease, he's brilliant. That's why he's such a good player of spin. Oh, was it missed? Was it missed? Safraz just juggled it a bit. I'm not sure he gets back. Batter is still out of crease. Balls drop. Yeah, crease satisfied. My decision for big screen. And Tim Seifert, just one shot off his 50. First HBL PSL, it would have been. Good bowling by Abra, stumping from Sarfaraz, Karachi 107 for three. There we go. Finish it in style. Experience of Shoaib Malik finishing it with a six. And Karachi Kings win this game comprehensively by seven wickets. And these are the winning moments. Shoaib Malik getting his side over the line in style with a biggie. Yeah, it was a struggle for Quota Gladiators. On a pitch away, 150 could have been good. 
went after scoring 200 runs and faltered. And it became very easy for Karachi Kings. They were only set 119 to win. Nothing for Sham Massoud. That's a worry going into the next three games. Seifert has shown the class with his 49 from 31. Vince again, 27 from 28. And Shoaib Malik with a couple of maximums. Gets himself 27 from 20, 121 for three. Yeah, it wasn't easy for the bowlers to defend such a small total. Uh, everybody tried to give their best, but wasn't good enough. Yes, three wickets were picked by Hussein Amir Abrar. A story of the game in a nutshell. Boita Gladiators inserted into bat, only mustered 180 runs. And Karachi Kings getting over the line in the 16th over with three balls to spare in that over. Yeah, a happy captain on the right in Shah Masood. They were desperately looking for the win. They've got the two points. That has helped them going into the latter stages of this HBL Pakistan Super League Season 9. It's improved their net run rate. They've got closer to Islamabad United, who will play in the second game on this Wednesday. They'll take on the Kalandas in an hour or so's time. And the Gladiators are still sitting pretty with their seven games with the nine points. Sultans are still at the uh, top.